Module 4, Lesson 11. Use addition of adjacent angle measures to solve problems using symbol for the unknown measure. This is very similar to what we did yesterday. We were working with the benchmark angles of 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Today we're going to be using 360, so that should tell you that all the angles together come to a point and it, it makes a circle. Let's look at our first example. We know this angle is 90, this one is 120 degrees. We need to find this one. You notice they all come together at the vertex. Okay, This is a 360 degrees. Together they make a circle. So 120 degrees plus 90 plus something is going to give us 360 degrees. So you can take 120 plus 90 that's going to give us 210. So together this is 210 and that makes sense. You can see that this is more than 180 when you put them together. Now you're going to take 360 and subtract your 210 and you're going to get 150. And if you look, that makes sense, 150. You can go through and verify with a, pr a protractor, but when you know two of the three angles, you can simply use addition and subtraction. Okay, so in this case, 120, 90, and 150 is how 360 was decomposed. Okay, let's look at the next one. Okay, this is another way that 360 can be decomposed. You're going to notice that the angles across from each other are the same. So if we write an equation, the total will be 360 because all of the angles surround one point. So 33 plus 147 plus 33 plus 147 equals 360 because you can see how, how it goes all the way around one point. Alright, we have some intersecting lines and we have the measurement of one angle. We have to find the other three angles. What I would suggest is you have to work with the angle that you know. I'm going to cover this up and if you notice I have a straight line. I know there are 180 degrees in a straight line. So if I took 180 minus 20, I get 160. So this angle is 160. I can now go around and say to myself, okay, these two form a straight line. Okay, this angle right here and this angle right here form a straight line. I know a straight line has 180. 180 minus 60 is 20 degrees. I can go around to this side. Okay, this angle and this angle form a straight line. This one's 20. I don't know this one, but I know a straight line or a straight angle has 180 degrees. Well, 180 minus 20 is 160 degrees. So I by having one angle and just covering up parts of it, it makes it a lot easier for you to see. So now let's go ahead and write our sentence. We have 20 plus 160 plus 20 plus 160 equals 360. Okay, we have a word problem that goes along with this. Cindy is making a quilt square. The blue, pink, and green pieces meet at a point. At the point, the blue piece has an angle measurement of 100 degrees, so this is our blue. And the pink has an angle measurement of 80 degrees. 
so we need to know what angle measurement is determined by the green piece. Well, if we look, this is 80 and this is 100. Okay, we know there's a common point, and by looking at the drawing, X or the green is going to be 180. So X equals 180. Okay, because there's a common point. Okay, now we're going to determine unknown angle measures around a point. I know this might look rather difficult.